I've been looking for you. You got time for a drink? You want to get in there for yourself and wait for blokes outside the box? I need a favour. You want me to score some drugs? Answers no. No, it's not that. Oh, right. Well, you're after my body then. <laughs> Answers still no. Yeah, my mum and dad need a 4 by 4 Right, well, good for them. A cheap one. I know you've got contacts. Look, they wouldn't let me throw them a rope if they were drowning. Oh, please, Kane, they're desperate. Look, I won't say it's come from you. Right, OK, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Sorry. What was all that about? Just doing the girl a favour. Oh, come on. Give me some credit, will you? Mm. Oh, uh, you and Charity, you're up to something. We had a job to do with Cameron. Yeah, a job she's kept secret from her fella. If he can't the fact we both have our granddaughter, that is his problem. Sarah needs to know where she is. And she won't if you and Charity keep messing with each other's heads again. And you told her that. But I don't have to, I'm telling you. Yeah, and I'm telling you. Get over yourself. Hi, right, kid, how's it going? Fine, thanks. What's that to you? And how's it going with you and that fella of yours? It's none of your business. They're really good. Why wouldn't they be? Well, I just wondered. Well, thanks for your concern. There's nothing wrong with catching up. Is it, kid? Yeah, I suppose not. Right, well, I'll have a pint, whatever you're having. Well, that'll be nothing. Well, you'll have a drink with us, won't you? I don't think so. What time will you get back to work, do you think? Yeah. See ya. I'll be in touch. Just try it and you'll be talking like a woman for the rest of your life. <sighs> Nothing worse than an uptight barmaid. Have you ever heard of service with a smile? Do you have any idea how vile you are? Oh, but you must have, because even Charity can't stand you any longer. She knows what she's missing, trust me. Oh, that must be your charm, class. An impeccable personal hygiene. No, that would be a life with a bloke who knows how to live it, not some suit whose idea of living dangerously is packing an extra coffee cream in a box of toffees. She's made her choice. Well, she can make it. Well, I've been there, done that, and so has she. All day and all night. Never met a woman quite like her. Mm. And that's one you haven't had to be? Oh, dear. Keep change right up. No, thanks. I'd rather pull my toenails out by the roots. Oh. My idea of the perfect night, him. Good day at the office. <sighs> yeah. Give Lisa a few quid. Get it off the money tree, did you? I'm just sharing my luck, that's all. Oh, well, if it's your luck, I'll not bother. Charity's happy where she is. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. Leave her alone. I, uh, got on the blow this morning. Pulled in one, two favours, and guess what? What? Found you four before. Really? Really. But it's a bit of a steal, so it won't be hanging about for long. Oh, so it's dodgy. No. Oh. I'm calling it the bargain. I don't like your instructions. Moira? <laughs> can I have an Americano to go, please, Bob? Of course you can. So what does he want? Nothing. Don't lie to me, Holly. Look, I was going to talk to you about it later. Right, so try telling me now. He's found us a 4 by 4 And before you start banging on about how we can't afford it, it's dirt cheap. Mum, we need a car. I'm sick of hearing you and Dad argue about I it. I am going to say this to you one last time. Stay away from him. But he's doing us a favour. King Dingle doesn't do favours. Not unless there's something in it for him. There's a police car sitting outside Tug Gill. Doesn't that tell you something about him? I am warning you. Stay away. Holly told us you found us a 4 by 4 Wow. And you've come to say thanks. I've told you before, stay away from her. 
anyone ever told you how sexy you look when you're angry? I am warning you. Leave her alone. She opposed me? Well, she shouldn't have. Right, so I take it this is you saying you're not interested? You're quick. She told me you need all the help you can get. Virtually on your uppers, aren't you? Go to hell. If I was you, I'd snap it up. So it'll be around for long. Thought I might find you here. My fault. Oh, you thought you were helping. She was. We need that four by four. With what money? And from him? Right, we all agree. We all hate him. Then why go within a million miles of him, then? Because we're running a farm with one quad bike. Mum had to get the shop in with it the other day. And I had to jog behind her like an idiot because I couldn't fit Yeah, out. and that'll be knackered soon. Oh, I used to love you and your principles, John, but now they're just tedious. <sighs> Sorry. What if you got it and you saw the car instead of thinking about Kane? Do you think? Just go get it. Expecting someone? Or are you just due in court, perhaps? You like to make an entrance? Worried about something? No, not at all. Right, shut the door on your way out. I'm here about the four by four. Oh, right. Why didn't you say? Didn't you tell me to stuff it once? I mean, am I missing something here other than the fact that you can't stand beside me? Just can't stand the sight of me then. Not really how I like to approach a business deal, why? Can I call you, why? No. How's John? John's fine. Shame. Good news, though. You can have the car. Today. And it's not stolen. Oh. Three grand. No way. This isn't Holly you're dealing with. Right. Well. I'll just, uh, I'll just give my mate a ring, get him to bring the car over. Told you it was sound. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. Isn't that what you've been reduced to now, is it? Bet you want to get on your knees and beg John to come here. Or maybe not. Take your time. Got all day. My. Mm. Now he's nervous. You'll get the rest at 60 a week. But don't tell John. Tell who you like. Except John. I'm always here for you. You sure you can manage to reverse that? Why go to Kane Dingle, though? Because we were desperate. Maybe if we had a bit more money or a bit more time to think about it. All right, look, it's done now, isn't it? I'll stop going on about it. I just don't get this big macho pride thing. We got it off Kane. So what? I'm still going to go see him about it, though. What for? It's not going to take it back. I just want to make sure it's all straight. And if I find anything dodgy about that, he's having it right back whether he wants it or not. Well, I've got the logbook and he says it's fine. Yeah, right. I just don't want to be pulled over by the coppers wondering why I'm driving somebody else's four by four. What happened to giving him a wide berth? I mean, we've got it now. Especially after me having such a go at Holly for going to need him in the first place. There's a difference between me seeing him and Holly doing it, isn't there? Or you, for that matter. Aaron said to come in. And you managed it, well done. It's about the four by four. The fault seen, it's all yours. I just want to make sure I'm not looking over my shoulder for flashing lights every time I'm driving around. What are you trying to say? Well, you'd have a better idea if you stopped prattling about and listened. Happy? Not really, no. Let's just understand each other, right? If I find out you've stitched me up with that, you're having it straight back. 
believe the deal was done with your missus, not you. Yeah, if it had been done with me, there wouldn't have been a deal. No. She kind of said that, too. I mean, don't do say they'll return. Don't mean you're not getting it back if it's not right. Really? Through your front doors if you're not here, over the top of you if you are. How scary is that? Just letting you know. Your missus is a lot friendlier than you are. She likes you even less than I do, mate. I hope you're not threatening me, John. Telling you, that's all. A lot of people are telling me things at the moment. Some of them are going to start wishing they hadn't. Still running, is it? Thanks for not saying anything to John. Well, he's had enough for both of us. It's a pride thing. Good job I've not got any. You really work hard at it, don't you? Most of them. Making people not like you. You're still here. Don't worry, I'm not stopping. Strictly business. And you'll get your money. Oh, I know I will. The next time you'll make sure John stays in his box. Just in case I decide to stop lying for you. Just like you're lying to him. Like I said, thank you. And from what I can gather, we've both got problems. So why don't you sort yours and I'll sort mine? Okay? Ah, that was right. You really can't stay away, can you? I was looking for you at the garage. Now you found me. Here. The sooner I get it all paid, the sooner I can start avoiding you instead. Tomorrow. I'm uh, always up for a bonus. Anytime you fancy it. Gearbox is gone, hasn't it? What abusing it, were you? One of its previous careful owners, more like. What did I say to you? You better go get it fixed now. I'll talk back to the garage, give you a quote. I knew this had happened. Right, I want a full refund in cash. No, I can't do that because I haven't got it, all right? Well, you better go sell some drugs or whatever it is you do for a day job, then, haven't you? I haven't got it. Cos me and your missus came to a little agreement. You told me you were going to be home ages ago. I broke down, didn't I? Ken's towed that useless pile of metal you bought off him back to the garage. So I told him I wanted my money back. In cash. Well, what did he say? Look, I'll speak to him and get him to fix it free of charge. How are you going to do that? Get him to cut you another deal? He told you about our arrangement then. Well, funnily enough, yes, he did. Look, we needed a car, so I, I got us one. Well, we didn't need one that badly. Why do you go behind my back to him? Well, what were you doing about getting us some wheels? I can't believe that you've lied to me. You told me you borrowed it off your mum. And why? Because I can't talk to you anymore. I can't tell you stuff because you're so pig-headed and arrogant. You kick off at the slightest thing. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I used to love that you were so single-minded and you stuck to your principles, but now you're just stubborn and angry and always right. Oh, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm sick of it, John. 
We're always dancing to your tune, and it's the whole family who suffers. You've got absolutely no belief in me whatsoever, have you? That's why you're so keen to sell everything up to Declan. You're convinced I'm going to fail. Oh, I'm not listening to this. I did nothing wrong. So you can take your stupid male pride and shove it. You get back here now. Why? What's the point? Oh, here we go. I just thought I'd pop in and thank you for your brilliant customer service. First, you sell me a death trap heap of junk, which you no doubt charged me way over the odds for because you knew how desperate I was. So cynic. Shut up, I'm still talking. And then, then you think the best time to tell my husband about our payment plan was at the side of the road while he was broken down. I'm finished. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Where do you think you're going? You scared of me? No. Maybe you should be. Why? What are you going to do? Anything you want. I can still talk to you, right? No. Do it. Listen, you already. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> oh, hello, stranger. Oi. Keep ignoring the people that start getting suspicious. I'll take the risk. Now, what does it for, is it? The risk. You know, I preferred it when you didn't give me the time of day. They ignored it, Alan. Yeah, because you know me so well. I know you're terrified. What, have you? No. What the hell are you doing here? You tell me, you're the one sending the tax. Yeah, not to come here. Adam's inside for God's sake. Well, that would break the hump. No, not a chance. Oh. I need to see you. Your words, not mine. Yeah, to talk about what's going on, not this. I uh, know. We're... Well, I don't believe you. Listen to me. I decide when and if we meet, OK? Not you. You know, you can be really sexy when you get on that high horse of yours. Really? And you're having exactly the opposite effect. I can't do this. So stop me.
See? You get what you want. No one's a wiser. And you think this is what I want? <laughs> you have a pretty good impression. It never bothers you. What? The way that people hate themselves after being with you. Doesn't stop you coming back from orders, eh? Maybe it's not just your holly with the addictive personality. No, don't you dare bring it. We're possessive into... now, are we? Just go, Kate. Oh, see, there you go again. Thinking you can call all the shots. Well, when we get down to it, you and me, we're just the same. We will never be the same. Don't be too hard on yourself. Till the next time. You fixed it, then? The man in the mess you made, more like. Yeah, right. Told you that, women, these. Need to be treated a bit special every now and then. And you'd know all about treating women special, would you? Oh, you'd be surprised. I hope you're not planning on giving me a bill for that. I'll tell you what. Seeing as I'm feeling a bit generous, you can have it on the house. Services rendered if you get my drift. No, I don't. Uh, I need to go into town, so I'll give you a lift. All right. Well, you know me. Never want to pass for an opportunity. You sure about this? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll see you later then. That's if it don't break down again. Well, except I'll be on hand to give her a bit of tea, I'll see. Who's he? I'm not used to wrap round a tree, am I? What the hell are you playing at? What? Turning up unexpectedly. Well, part of the customer service, especially ones who offer perks. I'm just a dirty little joke to you, aren't I? Maybe just the dirty bit. If you so much as think about telling anyone about this. What, you'll do what? Tell everyone how you seduced me? Seduced? Don't flatter yourself. Come on, you hurt my feelings now. Get this into your thick skull. I love John, and there's nothing you can do that could change that. But there is something I can do. Not anymore. I don't think you really mean that. I think I'll walk the rest of the way. Change my mind. Give me a call when you uh, change yours, yeah? Right, you get us a table. I'm just going to nip to the gents and we'll get us a drink soon. Can't we go somewhere else? Well, because of him. No, I just fancy going into town or something. You just get us a table. I'll deal with him. Why, what are you going to do? It's half the money that's owing for the motor, so now you've got no reason to come and pester us anymore, have you? I'm feeling flush all of a sudden. Just take it. You sure that's what your missus wants? What? Well, pay me off. Me and her have got a nice little understanding. What, your interest free loan? You can forget that. Well, if you say so. I do. <laughs> just tried to buy me off. I told you to stay away from me. You look nice, Mara. Special occasion. No, I just fancied a night out. <laughs> In here. Yeah. Time off a good behaviour, eh? Red wine and a pint, yeah? Yeah, I I'll get them if you're busy. No, don't be daft. Stay there. I'll bring them over. It's so nice to see a husband and wife who still know how to enjoy themselves. That's why you married him, innit, for the conversation? Or was it more the physical side? Don't you dare. Judge my life. John is worth ten of you. You know, you remind me a lot of her and Paddy. He was born and all. She still claimed to love him, though, right up until the point where she cocked off with Carl. One word from me and he'd rip you apart. So why don't you tell him that? Go on. <laughs> no, I thought not. Leave me alone. But it's you who can't leave me alone. And you know why? Because I can give you what he can. Enjoy your night. 
Does this look like I'm interfering? I thought I would have heard from him by now. No. Well, let's face it, if you want to get communication out of a guy, you practically have to pin them down and shine a torch in their eyes. I wish there was something I could do. Something that would actually help. Diane, you are. You're being brilliant. Oh, just the man. Have you heard from Debbie? Uh, not since you went to the hospital, no. How was she this morning? I thought I'd give Andy a ring, but do you think I should just leave it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sure Moira can manage on her own. All right, yeah. What do you want? The usual? Is that what we're calling it now? Didn't know we were going to make a regular thing of it. <laughs> Look, we're going to bump into each other. Might as well be grown-ups about it. It was good fun. What's your problem? It never happened, all right? It's pretty memorable, if you ask me. Keep change. Well, oh, that's for your face. You're like someone after a refund. I don't want anything I'll else. always do a job again if I've done it wrong. But I don't give money back. Whatever happens, you've got no right to talk to me like that. In a pub full of people. I mean, anyone could have heard. I, I said keep the change. All I care about is my marriage and, and my family. And I'm warning you, Kane, if you do anything to threaten that. Yeah. I'm trembling. You're really twisted, you know that. That's not what you said the other night. Actually, you can do what you like. Because don't think for one second that anyone would believe that I would choose you when I've got John. Yeah. It's a shame he doesn't give a toss about you. You discuss me. Yeah, you wish. Oh, sorry, I'm in here. Waiting for me in the gents now, classy. I want you to stay away from me. Is that why you came to see me last night? No, that was a mistake. Mm. You've a lot of them recently, haven't you? Let me make myself clear. Look, I haven't come in here for a chat. I've got more important things to think about than some frustrated housewife. Do you mind? How's that for service? Thank you. Is that all I got? What did you expect? Well, they're dropping you off at work, something more like this. <laughs> Is it a store for anyone to see? So I am. Hold the front page, man kiss his wife, shocker. I'm going to be late for work. We well, don't take any overtime. We don't want you to miss out tonight. Well, what about the kids? Busy, if you know what's good for them. Which means we get an early night together. <sighs> not here, eh? Come on. Not last night, not at home or something. Yeah. I I've just got to get to work. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Have a good day. You too. What are you staring at? How many men would be too many for you? Drop dead, Keith. <laughs> That's not what you said yesterday. Or what you did. Yeah, well, I told you. Keep away Wait from me. Yeah. I didn't think you'd have time for a long lunch. Well, I had to make time, did I? I've been missing you. <coughs> Eve, I'm at work. Not for much longer, though, eh? Been looking forward to tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I have to work tonight. You can't have done. We've only just talked about it. Yeah, I know, but I read the rotors wrong. I'm on lights today. Uh, no, you're not, Pet. 
Alicia's on Let's tonight. You're on Let's tomorrow. Yeah, but she said she wanted tonight off, so I said I'd swap with her. She's got some neck. No, I really don't mind. Well, I do. It's a shame you don't feel the same way, innit? I know Alicia's got it hard at home at the moment. But we don't employ bar staff to pick and choose their own hours. Oh, if only, eh, Myra? <laughs> well, it looks like you do already. How come you've managed to twist Moira's arm into picking up your shift tonight? Uh, she's flipping well off it. She said you asked her. Oh, for God's sake, Dan, we've already sorted it out. Why'd you have to keep going on about it? Awkward. <clears throat> Back room, Moira. I'm sorry, Diane. It's all my fault. I offered to take Alicia's shift. Because you need the money. That's right. Or because you don't want to go home to your husband. I love him so much. He's my best friend. And he would die for me and the kids, and this is how I repay him. What's happened? I've made a mistake. A stupid mistake. Sorry, it's not even that. I'm just having sex. No love, no affection. Just sex with a man I detest. So what kind of a tart does that make me? Nothing an early night in a bottle of wine won't cure. Yeah, well, I try that every night, but nothing's any different when I wake up. Maybe you should stick to the one bottle and not the half a dozen, then. Same again. What's that in aid of? Just sorry. Not for trying to get out of our big night in. Yeah, well, for that and for everything. I love you so much. Good off it. I've sorted it with Diane, and you're invited to a very special dinner tonight. Whatever you want. Nothing's off the menu. You can't do this to me here. So you'll be there then? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Good. Wish I had a fella to kiss me like that. Me too. Actually, mate, that I wish I had a fella like him to kiss me like that. Pass us a sit bag. Fine, please, sweetheart. Dan. Uh, Mum, I was thinking about taking Anna to town later. Tonight? Yeah, but I'll finish this shed before I go, I promise. Yeah, okay. Result? You got the place to yourself, just like you planned. Sorry, what? Oh, um, weren't meant to tell him about the all night rave, were I? Don't listen to her. Well, if you want to get some mace round for some cocoa and biscuits, I won't tell me Dad across my heart. OK, then, sunshine. Just don't moan at me when I try to get out of bed at five in the morning. Bit optimistic there, I think. Uh, you better go before I change my mind. Sound. Don't stay up too late. Mm. Time will hand me back. One, two... Hopper's still there. Are you talking to me? Because I don't remember giving a monkey's. Empty house, empty bed. Seems a bit to waste it. Don't you dare come anywhere near the farm. And what? Well, go on, it was just kind of exciting. You disgust me. Yeah. Jay! Night, night, lightweights! Mine's pint. Isn't it usually the guy who offers to buy the lady a drink? Mm, you know you lost me. Uh, where, where's the lady? You're very rude. Did anyone ever tell you that? Look, walking out on me in the cafe, that is rude. You or me. I didn't have you down as a sensitive type. Not many do. Then again, not many get close enough to find out. Same again, please. And, um, a pint for Hugh Grant over there. You know, maybe I can forgive you after all. After I've been to the ladies. Oh, and, uh, by the way, he's paying. Look, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were a bit jealous. 
Diane, can you take over? <laughs> Didn't realise you had that effect on you. What are you doing here? Hey, you don't always get to pick the venue. Look, I was worried about you. Up here all alone in that great big bed. Get out. That's not very nice. I don't want you here. Is this the green-eyed monster speaking again? No. This is me coming to my senses. And if you're talking about Priya, you can sleep with who you want. Oh, thanks. I remember that. It's kind. Only I didn't. Because I thought I'd save myself for you. Well, you needn't have bothered, because there's nothing doing here. You sure? Yeah, I've never been sure about anything in my life. You and I are finished. Now, I won't tell you again. Get out of my house. Why are you struggling, eh? Is this all part of the game? Is it? No. No. I think you should leave. I said no! <laughs> you know where the door is? Why don't I even get a cup of coffee? You know what? Hey, what are you doing, you mad cow? Get off! Just go! I don't want you here! You did five minutes ago. <sighs> Sounds like we got company. It should be fun. What are you doing in there? Two sugars in mine. Just get in here. They'll be here any second. How do we look? What are you doing? It's not funny. Hi! You all right? Hi. Hi there. Good trip. He, uh, just came for his money. What money were I had? I want the debt clearing in full. We had a deal. What, you got that in writing, have you? All right, you'll get your money tomorrow. Good. Well, pleasure doing business with you. I knew Maura. Might well see myself out. Did he give you a hard time? Because if he's laid a finger no, on you... No, of course he didn't. He wouldn't dare. Give his face. <laughs> hey, up. I've got a decent little run around at the guards if you're interested. Well, she's not. Mum, I don't think my dad would like that very much. Well, one more reason to do it, eh? You'll have to be quick if you want to get a lift with Adam. Bye. See ya. Moira, hang on. Uh, I'm just on my way to the shop. It's from Kevin. Who? From the London trip. So cute, but I think you might be gay. When I reply, shall I put a kiss on the end of it? Hang uh, on! Um, you better go. It'll just be to talk about work. Okay. Good job. If your kids weren't around, I'd slap you. Are you insane? It's him, isn't it? What does it matter? In his case, it's all that matters. I finished it. You might think you have. He's capable of anything. Diane, don't turn against me. I'm scared for you. Oh, that time already, come in. No, that is never happening again. All right, we're going to start using our towels. We'll have to go no, after I don't it. think I made myself clear enough yesterday. I've always found you very clear. One look in your eyes, I know exactly what you want. And what's that? A tissue? Have you been crying? No. I've been having a few guilty tears about yesterday when we nearly got caught. Because I have to say, made me laugh a lot. His face, dead innocent, eh? Bless him. It'll break his heart, won't it? Whereas your family will be thrilled that you join me in a bit of home wrecking. Nice try, but the difference between us is I genuinely don't give a toss what anyone thinks, even blood. Mum! Yeah? Do I lift back? Uh, no, I've got stuff to do. Or oh, someone. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I, I need to head into town. All right, see you in a bit. Thanks. Bye, then. What should we tell him? No, please, just stop. <laughs> Come on. Look, we've all done things regret. Pull yourself together. No, it's just... 
John. I know. It was the kids. It's everything. I mean, God. Look, look, we both got what we want here. Yeah, but it's not what I want anymore. Well, I can see that. But now you've had to look down in the face and she thinks you're a bit of a tramp. I mean, she would give me a right filthy look in the calf before. I mean, what's it like knowing one wrong word? You've lost a lot. Come on, let's go somewhere a bit more private. We need a plan in case Diane blabs, don't we? I am warning you. No, I even think Anne's getting a bit suspicious. It's all closing in, Moira. First time you betrayed John, you lost the right to say what is and isn't going to happen. Hey, up, Johnny! It's all there. Can I never refuse it when it's on a plate? So no more little trips up to the farm now, eh? I'd hate to cause any trouble between you and Moira. Don't worry, you won't. Phew, that's a relief. Tell Moira I'll see her around. Shut up. Come on, you big bully. Let her for the leash every now and then. I didn't mean anything by that. I mean, lots of animals have leashes, I think. <laughs> hey, I got an um, invite this morning for Charity and Jerry's wedding. Don't suppose you got yours, did you? No? Woo, woo! That was a joke. You're so serious, you lot. I was just saying tomorrow she needs to lighten up a bit. What was she doing here? Did I say she was? I know she was. I can see you're busy. No, I'm in. Tr <laughs> Still here. People talk. Why was Moira here? Maybe she was just passing. You don't pass up here. You pass down there on the road. You're proper paranoid, you, aren't you? Was she warning you off? Yes. She said never mix the grape and the grain. Off, Holly! And why would she do that? Well, we all know you've got form when it comes to teenagers, don't we? If I was you, John... Was she not? Thank God, cos I'd have to kill myself. But if I was you... I would go home to the bosom of my family now. Or was it Hannah? That drip. Listen, if it had to be any of them out of the three of them, it'd be Adam. Hilarious! Or maybe just your wife. She wouldn't go near you if you were the last man on earth. Heart shaped freckle of thigh says you're wrong. Johnny boy! I've been chased by a farmer for years! Get out of here now! <laughs> Thing is funny! I'm getting bored of this, Johnny! Get out of here then! I'm sorry I dissed your wife, okay? How do you know about that? What? The birthmark. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's fascinating, is this? See, her and my sister both work together at the pub, and it's all birthmarks and cellulite, how sexually frustrated they are. I mean, they're just like blokes, really, but we knock us. If you ever went anywhere near my wife... You saw me in your house yesterday. Loving what you've done with the bedroom. This is exactly what you do, isn't it? What your missus? You're just trying to wind me up, so I'll hit you. You're pathetic. Take it from me, cos she did. By the end of the day, Johnny boy, farmer's gonna be wanting a new wife. Excuse me. Move. You two get in the car now. What? I'm not going anywhere. Now. Come on. Still clueless, are they? They're the only reason you're still walking around. Did you check Maurice Bracker when he got home? Make sure I won't tell him porkies. Well, I imagine it's a while since you last saw it. Why did you have to tell him? Come on. I want to know what goes through that twisted, thick head of yours. Go on. You didn't have to tell him. 
Look, you can blame me all you like, sweetheart, but we all know whose fault this is. I'm a free agent, you're the one who's married. So this isn't about your ego, then? Cos I ended it, your pride got dented. You're even more pathetic and needy than I was. If you're still feeling needy, I could always show up shop for an hour. You're a cancer, King Dingle. If that's what you really want. But please, John, just stop and think about it. Just th think about the kids. No, th you should have thought about that. John, I am begging you. Please, let's keep talking. No, I mean it. If you don't go now, then I'll have to. OK. OK, yeah. I'll go in the morning. Fine. Rodney, take it somewhere else next time. I don't want to go bankrupt over a set of spark plugs, am I? Just got in. Wild night, boys. What can you do? You can stay away from my family. If you've got a problem, you come to me. What are you going to do? Challenge me to a duel? Well, I'll do that before I cancel the wedding, put it that way. Where's Priya, Kane? If I said she's behind you, would you believe me? Do you think I'm like 12? Where have you been? Do you know how long we've been trying to ring you? Should have rung me. We did. What is the big deal? The only big deal is Dad being in an accident. What? Well, what's happened? Is he all right? He'll be fine. <sighs> he had a bit of trouble with his car. Uh, speaking of which, he's up at the house and that's where you should be. I told you, didn't I? All my life I've had this. I'll see you later. See you later. This is going to stop. Uh, sorry, you've lost me there. Come on, Jay. Come on. Come on. You know, I, uh, I might just take my business somewhere else. What's all this, we had them Oh, get in the queue. Hey. He's after you, big style. It looks like he's found me and all, doesn't it, eh? Come on, from under your rock, have you? Whoa, calm down! Have you gone mad? Look at it, it'll be fat of you. Oh, let him go, come on. You go near my mum again, and you're a dead man. I don't care who you are. She didn't seem to mind at the time. In fact, how many times was it? Get up! I, I don't know. Mum, what is wrong with you? My God, you really are. Get off me! Look, come on. Look, listen, you're coming with us until you calm down. Right, come on! Come on! Don't get mad, but it's better you know now than later. Your Adam's been having a go at Cain. Where? What's he said? Well, earlier on, uh, he got a bit wound up, you know, over... We managed to get in his road before it kicked off proper. <laughs> I know it's none of my business, but... It's over, OK? That's between you. I'm glad to hear it, but... You don't want our cane turning nasty with your lad. Just leave Adam to us, eh? Well, there's that, and then there's, uh, The old village know him, because that'll be next. Uh, I'm sorry, but I thought I'd best say it. Who else is saying stuff? Well, whoever else has heard, I suppose. Well, at least we're ready for it. We'll never be ready for it. That doesn't mean we can't deal with it. All I know is if our came with a dog, he'd want putting down, give everyone else a rest. Apologising for me. Huh? Well, someone has to, the way you are. Oh, yeah, and what way's that, then? Well, not good, is it? Do you ever listen to yourself? Yeah, they have a lot of good ideas. Is that what that was? Huh? Threats, break-ins and all the rest of it. Yeah, you're right. You know what makes me feel even worse? The fact that you're such an angel. Well, I know where to draw the line. Yeah, so do I. It just happens to be a different place. Police were around earlier, asking about you. Help them out, did you? In the end, no. Had nothing useful to tell them. But if I had have had, I would have done. Yes. It says a lot about you, that, doesn't it, eh? It says a lot about what I think of you. Oh, ashamed, are we? Oh, yeah. It's getting sure we're all ashamed of ourselves. Sharing a name with you. <laughs> You're turning us into outcasts. All oh, like we've ever belonged. Well, maybe not, but we're all stuck together. 
We stood up for one another. Looked out for our own. Yes! Yeah, well, my own is me. And how does all this help you? Make me feel good. And too well with the rest of us. I can't see what harm it's doing you. Well, that's because you're not thinking, boy! Yeah, maybe because I just don't care! Organise a shift so we don't have to see her. Easy. Early finish. Early start, on it? Busy then. The usual. How was Hannah when I left? Upset. Next question. That's all I've got. Well, we'll be having our drinks then. I'll enjoy. I can you earned them. Thank you. Bottoms up. And put some lead in your pencil, John. I don't have any use for it. Mm -hmm. Don't give him the satisfaction, Dad. Oi. Behave, please. Always. How are you out? I was desperate to see you, so I escaped. Right then, I'm in the mood to celebrate. You got any champagne? Well, if we do, I'm not serving it to you. Same goes for anything else you want. Used to be a lot more accommodated than this. Have a word with your staff, Chaz. I will, when they need it. Why don't you go? <laughs> I've only just got here. Uh, I'll have a pint of lager, please. That's more my style. You have no style. Well, I must have something. If you serve him, I am leaving and never coming back. Probably best. Addictive alcohol. You got any nuts? Do you want some, John? Yeah, you lost yours. You'll lose something in a minute, mate. Dad, let it go. Do us a favour, will you? Stop being a tool. Is this drink coming? If it does, I'm leaving too. And I also won't be back. And me. And me. Me. I'm sorry. Now, you haven't done anything as such, John. Except be a drip who can't satisfy his wife or control his daughter. You leave her alone. Oh, I did. Wouldn't have minded, would you, though? Ask your mum. She'll fill you in on what you missed out on. Are you not going to tell him to leave? No. She's going to serve me my drink now, aren't you? Still a no. What's wrong? You had a run in with Kane, didn't you? You had a fight? There was nothing. Let me have a look. The pair of you just back off, right? What's happened? Him and Kane had a punch up. When? Does it matter when? It's happened now, hasn't it? What? Jay just came into the pub. So? He found Kane lying by the side of the road. Dad, they think he might be dead. What did you do to him? I told you, he was fine when I left him. Someone else must have got to him after me. Why don't you believe me? We're not saying that. Then why are you saying that? Oh, no, it's just how it looks, you know? But everyone saw how angry you were. Wait, where are you going? Out. Right, well, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. You're staying here, all of you. I won't be long. Dad! Don't do this. <laughs> Wake up. Holly! One snap out of it. Right. Holy wake up! What have you got? Uh, uh, Are you going to work with me or what? Uh, uh, right. I'm not going to have you die on me here, right? I'm not going to take the flak with this. Ah! Ah! Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. So you want to be worrying about? Is she gonna make it? She's still breathing. She stands a good chance. Which tells me exactly nothing. All I can say is that she's in the best place for her. We're doing everything that we can. Right. I'll leave you to it then. But where are you going? We need to ask you some questions. I don't think so. <laughs> I 
It's all right, baby, I'm here. I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter now. All that matters is that you're all right. So what were you playing at then? Don't, Adam. What? You think we were going to bother asking? Can you just leave it? You can see what state she's in. Why do you have to be so selfish, eh? No. I'm sorry, Holly, but I've got to ask. Did you... Did you do this on purpose? No. No. Because it's, it's never happened before. You, you've never wrote it. Promise you. I swear, I never. I just. It was just the stuff. It was too strong. I didn't realize. It's okay. It's okay. You're back. Sorry to disappoint. No one's serving. Dan. She's got our dad's ashes, and you decide you want another fix? It wasn't like that. But we can't go through this again, Holly. It nearly killed Mum last time. I know, and I hate myself for it. Well, you just calm down. This isn't helping anybody. She knows she's been an idiot. Have they rung for police? Uh, no, they can't. They're not allowed. Yeah, well, maybe we should. Get you and Kane locked up. Teach you both a lesson. What's Kane got to do with it? He put you in. I know, but... Don't pretend like you didn't get it off him. He had nothing to do with it. Don't you dare cover for him. That guy's scum. Do you want to just calm down? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I'll go score some more off Kane then, shall I? I mean, I should take the edge off things, eh-ho? I've told you, he didn't do anything. He just found me. Yeah. Well, that'd be the first time in his life he ever did good for anyone. Yeah. I mean, God knows if he hadn't. What would have happened to her? Come on. Ah. I think you know why I'm here. It's been a long day. I'm not in the mood for well wishes. King, please. I need to talk to you. So? Is it true? That I nearly got cremated? That Adam saved you? Oh, what, he told you that, did he? What really happened? Trust me, you don't want to know. King, please. I have never seen him this frightened before. Is he in some sort of trouble? Not with the police, if that's what you're worried about. I've got my stupid nephew's misplaced loyalties to thank for that. Aaron, what's he got to do with this? If it wasn't for him, your son would be banged up in a cell by now. Yeah, that's right. He came over, tried to torch me alive. I don't believe you. Aaron said that he pulled you out. Only because he didn't have the bottle to go through with it. You're lying. No. No. That's what I did to the police. So why would you lie to protect Adam? You know what? I have no idea. Let's just hope I don't change my mind, eh? I went to see Kane. I know. I know you started it. <laughs> well, you're not even going to deny it? Oh, Adam, why? It was just after everything that you said about Dad. About what I did. Oh, but that wasn't true. I, I was just angry. I know. I, I, just, I just went to see Aaron, you know, just to talk to him. And he was there. Kane. It's like he was laughing in my face, Mum. Stood there like nothing could hurt him. I just wanted him just for one second just to feel the hurt like, like I am, you know? Just for one second and... And now this. Yeah, but you went back. That was too late. No, it wasn't. You, you saved him. It doesn't matter now. Listen to me. This wasn't your fault. If, if I hadn't have said those nah, things... Mum, I started the fire and I left him. Yeah, please don't know that. Yeah. For how long? Huh? You think 
Kane's just going to forget about this. If the police don't get me, Kane will. Come here. You're calling me stupid. You. This isn't helping anyone, is it? He's right. Look, I'm sorry if we... For what? Being a slag? I thought I was going to kick off at Chaz's party. Looks like all the action's here. Well, you just get lost. So it's all right, little fish wife, you, aren't you? You're better off out of it, if you ask me. Well, we didn't. So do us a favour, will you? Kane, please. I can handle this. Yeah, looks like it. Thank you, Smiler. Hang up. You actually think I'm going to serve you? This is a show-up, isn't it? Yeah, and you're bad. Right, well, we'll see what David has to say about that, shall we? Well, we could, but he's out, so tough. What do you think you're doing? This is stealing. Only if you've got witnesses. You can't do this. Well, I've got an account, so, uh, make a list. Not taking any prisoners. Maybe I've just had it up to here. Adam's still giving you our time. Let's just say he's not going to be happy until Alex is out of a job. So you're offering me a job? You work with farm machinery, aren't you? Should be easy enough to train you up. Yeah, but why? Debbie's on maternity leave, so we could do the next pair of hands. No, I mean, why me? You can get in trouble up at the farm, aren't you? Adam's throwing his weight around, if that's what you mean. Well, then, I'm giving you a choice. You can let Mummy's boy walk all over you, or you can tell him to stick his job. Just thought I'd pack the rest of your things. Get me out as fast as you can, you mean? No, you don't need to take them now. Still got work to do. Yeah, but for how long? For as long as you like. Your job's safe. But we both know Adam's gonna make life difficult for me. It's my farm. What I say goes. You don't have to feel bad, you know. I knew what I was doing. You're a good worker. And we need you. But if you need to take some time... There's no need. I found another job. Oh. Since when? Since Kane needed someone to fill in for Debbie. You went to Kane? He came to me out the blue. Huh. Did he? Look, it's for the best. You gonna finish this any time today? I can't work with you watching me. Get over it. It's me now. Did I ask? Hi, Nan. Yeah, but I've just started my new job. Checking out our employer of the month. I can't believe you give him a job. We're calling it a trial. But why? It's a puzzler. What do you want? Nothing. I mean, how many X's can you fit in one garage? Don't start. There is no way that he would walk straight into another job. Especially a job that he doesn't even know how to do. So what do you do, Mum? Do you beg Kane to take him off your hands? No, I never said a word. Yeah, right. See you later. Um, any news on Sarah? Lisa said the, the chemo was kicking in. Yeah, pretty much. And everything that goes with it. Oh, girl. How's Debbie coping? Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, she's doing fine. I'm gonna call her in a minute. Tell her we're thinking about it, yeah? You all right? Hey, what's the matter with you, eh? You got a great bit of lungs on her. Yeah, she's been demonstrating them all night. Come on, lad. Shh. It's all right. Calm down. Have you tried classical music? Yeah, we'll never get it off in our gaff. Well, if it's any use, it always worked with my three. Hannah used to be out like a light with a bit of piano. And it's got to be worth a try. Right, yeah. OK. Maybe I'll give it a go. <laughs> yep. Looks like I owe you one. Hmm? Classical music. Out like a light. Ah, see? I told you. So, um, <clears throat> can I buy you a drink? 
Uh, no, you're OK. Let's just leave it with you. Owing me one for now. Tchaikovsky. Yeah, who cares? It's not too striking, isn't it? Maybe you'll get into it next. <laughs> I saw that. Keep your voice down, will you? If yours is the first face he sees when he wakes up, might never sleep again. It is respectful to slow down when you see a hearse. I don't think Carl's going to be bothered. Why don't you go and ask him? That's just the sort of comment I'd expect coming from oh, you. Oh, well, there you go. Everybody's happy, aren't they? If you had any decency at all, you would keep away today. You've done enough harm already, filling that poor boy's head with filth. I just told him the truth. As if it's not enough that your sister has orphaned two children. Listen, Carl got what was coming to him. Chaz just happened to get in there first. He was a scumbag. So instead of pointing your bony little finger at my family, why don't you trot on back over the road and think you'd get him at your precious Mr Carl? If you'd have kept a tight leash on him, maybe none of this would have happened. Uh, I'd better get these over there before they all leave. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Sling them in the back if you like, I'll give you a lift. Oh, all right, yeah. That's if you've finished. Well, yeah, I've... Uh... I finished all right, but uh, I spotted uh, three walls that need looking at. Sure, where have you been? Your, your lad's been looking for you. Oh, I was at Jimmy's. Oh. I, uh, I saw Kane as well. Not at Jimmy's, obviously. Uh, how was that like? What do you mean? Well, I can. Uh, all right, see you. Yeah. I think he's. He's missing Chaz. Don't worry about that, Moira. I'd be very surprised. Yeah? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, go on. Uh, did he say out, Ken? Uh, I'm just interested, you know. What's up, Zach? Lisa's going to see her, aren't you? And you don't approve? Well, it's not that. It's... Lisa cares about folk and... Well, everything that's happened to Chaz, like, struck a chord with her. Now, me, I think she's better off locked up. For her own good. Because, well, if you come back round here, I wouldn't bet against another funeral. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, it's not as if I have much of a social life. If I asked Priya to do an extra shift, she'd be under the union. Have you thought about longer term? You know, if, if it doesn't turn out well. If Chaz walked back in here tomorrow, half our customers wouldn't set foot in the place. I don't know what we're going to do. <clears throat> oh. Like to gossip about a bet. <laughs> Still as good as gold? Yeah, thanks to you. Uh, I introduced them to classical music, and Kane's pretending not to be into it. I'll take him upstairs, put the baby monitor on. You give Sarah a kiss from me. Oh, oh come on, little man. Uh, we weren't gossiping. I couldn't care less. What you said to Edna... Yeah, she needs to learn to keep a gob shut. I know, but... Jazz is your sister and nobody would hold it against Was you. Was my sister. I don't think she's going to be bothering me again. What's going on? Huh? Well, oh, I couldn't ask you that. Listen, you're the one who dragged me up here away from my lunch, so don't start getting cryptic. You gonna invite me in or what? Well, I don't want Lisa and Debbie over here. Go on, then. It's about Cameron. It's not your problem, is it? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Listen, God knows, I, I could kill the lying, cheating little chore like myself. But I keep thinking... How many more troubles can this family survive? I don't know what you want me to say. I've been looking after baby Jack, making sure Debbie's all right and running that garage. 
You're the one who's worrying after Cameron. Again. I know that you're up to something. You've got to stay away from Cameron. That is what Debbie wants. It's not about you. And if you really care about her, well, you just do as she says. Don't turn this mess into an even bigger one. Sarah? Proper poorly. Debbie's back at the hospital now. She's a tough one, your daughter. But then she would be, wouldn't she? Was that a compliment? No. An observation. <laughs> 